Um, the problem with that is there's no a scorecard. Let's go scorecard. <laughs> scorecard. Uh, hello everyone and welcome to Super High Dora. This is gonna be like a small review. I'm gonna play the game and I'm gonna talk a lot of trash here. But one thing that I like about the game is the game is based on Gradius. If you never played that series, it's awesome. It's on PlayStation 1, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, which is the best one of all. Gradius 3, you never played that. Um, I recommend you to go to YouTube and look for the soundtrack of Gradius 3. It's the greatest I ever heard. I love it. I mean, I even have Gradius 3 ringtones in my phone. That's how much I love it. Uh, one thing I have to say, the game is just based on that series. The game is great. One thing that I don't like, there's no online multiplayer, as you can tell, and there is no online scoreboard. The game puts you through a, uh, through a lot of pain because basically what you go what you do is basically you go from stage number one all the way to whatever stage. If you die there, you have two options. One, you can continue and you lose all your points, or two, you can start all over. The problem is if you start all over, you're gonna lose all your, your um, what is it, weapons and everything. So that's a good thing. That's a bad thing that I don't like too much, and the good thing is like space and grass. Anyways, I'm playing, I'm just like a, let's put it this way, I'm a gamer just like you. So I'm gonna just talk just the, the way I experience the game. I'm not a reviewer, I'm not a, like an expert on this thing, I'm just telling you what I see. This is Gradius, um, I don't, don't want to call it a ripoff, but it's got kind of a ripoff. But like I said, I'm glad that at least these people are making games based on the games that I love. Like Gradius 3, um, Ghosts and Goblins, which you have, uh, I think these people have made the Malita Casilla game. The graphics are, are the same thing, basically, in both games. But anyways, going back to the game. Um, I'm gonna tell you, um, this game is hard. This game is really hard, it's very challenging. Um, you're gonna die a lot. And the good thing about the game is like, when you die, right, you memorize the stage and you go back and you do better. The bad thing is that if you completely lose, then you have to start all over again, or you can continue and don't save your scoreboard, like I said, a million times before. But anyways, basic, you go around killing little spaceships, you know? I don't, I don't think there's that many games like this one around. Um, I think um, Darius um, is one of them on PlayStation. Uh, I think there's some other ones around, but I'm not like too happy with the other ones. I think Darius was the only game that I liked uh, besides this one. If you don't play Darius, Darius is great. Darius Chronicle, I believe it's the name. I have that one. That game is great. I'm, I'm, I'm put like a lot of hours in that one, and I haven't even been get far at all. But anyway, going back to this game. This is basically what you do, you just try and survive, trying to make it until the end, and just kill, kill, kill. Every stage will have a boss. You kill it, then you move to the next stage. That's basically it. So now we got this like similar looking boss. And one thing is like with the Gradius games, some of these bosses are very, very similar to the Gradius bosses. So but I'm not I'm not criticizing the game. I'm not criticizing the game. I think it's great. Like I said, I wish I can do a little bit more because it, this game, I believe, was in 2010 on the PC. And I was a little disappointed that it didn't include, like, you know, online scoreboard. You're charging $20 for the game, so I think it's a little pricey uh, for these type of games, you know what I mean? I think $10, $15, I think it's a good price. And, but like I said, at least include something else, you know? Maybe there are more bosses or more enemies or something like that that I don't know because I never played the PC version. But, you know, what about you know, a little online multiplayer, you know, to make it different, to make it something like, wow, yeah, look, this feels some something else. Damn it, I grabbed the wrong thing for talking shit. Um, the thing is, you have to be careful. You cannot make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you're going to freaking screw yourself over and over and over. These things, when you see them, please kill them. These things are freaking annoying as so. hell. And uh, as you can tell, I'm taking greens and red, right? The green is for... Damn it, I keep making more mistakes. What the freak? The greens are to... Upgrade your regular cannon right now, the one that's shooting right now. The red one is to do the missiles. Do not kill. Ah, oh, damn it, I killed one. You kill those things, you lose um, points. Damn it, I killed one. I wasn't paying attention. But, anyways, that's, that's the thing with this. Um, try to get bombs because the enemies are gonna be hard without these bombs. Um, try not to waste them all in all, in all the enemies. Like, I try to use one per enemy and try to keep collecting them. I think that's the best way possible. To defeat these big bosses. Now, for example, look at this one here. This boss right here, you have to make sure that you attack him and hit him when it's like, look. So you're gonna hit him with one and he's gonna die soon. That's it. There you go. So try to always save them, always get your shield, 
And when you don't have a shield, I mean, when you have a shield, oh fuck, I lost all that. When you have a shield, then try to get the bomb. But you need the bomb. Right now, I'm trying to upgrade my missiles. What it does, it just shoot double missiles. So sometimes it's good to have a double missile. Be careful with these things on top. Oh fuck, I'm talking about it and I fucking don't pay attention to it. Damn it. So you have to be careful when one hit can change everything in the game. Damn it. I'm freaking stupid. Anyways, like I said, so far, I'm giving the game an 8 out of 10. Uh, 8 because the game is great, don't tell me wrong. Um, it, lo it lose 2 points in my opinion. Because there is nothing like new compared to the PC version of the game. Very disappointed with that. And like I said, there's no online multiplayer and there is no online scoreboard. Which, in my opinion, it doesn't make too much sense to make so many points and scores and everything or fight for the scores when the game is not like, you know, giving you the chance to compete against friends online. Maybe in the future they'll add to it. I don't know. Maybe they will. I don't know. We hope, I guess. But like I said, the gameplay. Fuck oh, gameplay! Ah, fuck the gameplay, damn it! The gameplay is freaking great. Damn it, you see what I'm talking about? Now it's all over. I mean, I lost some of my powers. I have to get all these things again and upgrade my guy again. And I'm freaking. Ay, ay, ay. Almost messed up again. And I need one more. And you need all your powers here, baby. Because if you don't get them, you're gonna get fucked. Be careful with these things. Ugh. But yeah, the game is hard. The game is hard. Fuck. Like I said, if you get, if you like games that are hard as hell, this is gonna be the one. Um, but sometimes too hard is not friendly. <laughs> Some people don't like games that are too hard, you know. I, I don't care. I play them. I mean, but sometimes I get so brutal that there is no way around. And when that happens, then you know I might lose interest because I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere else. Especially with all these games coming out, There's so many games. Sometimes you don't have the time to spend in one game. I just want to get a game. Have fun, beat it, next, you know? Sometimes when a game gets too crazy like that, I'm not like... I don't know, but that's my opinion anyways. I know people are different than me. Anyway, so far we're doing pretty good here. We're trying to... These guys are annoying. Be careful what they shoot. Three, and they're powerful. You see how hard the stage is getting? This is not getting easy, bro. This is not getting easy. And then I think you have to try to kill everything because you get scored. Fuck! That shouldn't be doing that shit, man! Ah, I'm stupid, man. I freaking made a mistake there, man. Damn it, I need, I need one more. The thing is, like, I want to get, you know, I want to get bombs to kill the boss. I don't want to freaking... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Shit, man. Now I'm going to face this boss. This boss is a little annoying. It is really annoying. Because this freaking head thing, start laser thing, the lasers are annoying, especially when it's close to you. Ooh. Okay, I have no more bombs. There you go. Now we got this licking thing. You see, it comes with a tongue. It's like, la, 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 la. you see, it uses, la, 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 la. but be careful. Those freaking red things that are shooting at you are fucking annoying. Oh. One more life, guys, and that's it. That'll be my review, like quick review. And I've been playing this game for like three, four hours so far, and I still suck at it. That's what I'm saying, like the game is hard as hell. One day only, a little while ago, I made it really far. But then when you die, you know, start it all over again, it's like, come on, man, I don't want to start all over. I mean, I can continue, but then what? I'm stupid, I should just continue anyways. There's no scoreboard for online, so what the heck? Ah, uh, fuck! <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I'm gonna score the game 8 out of 10. The reason why is there is no online multiplayer, there's no online scoreboard. I didn't see it there. If you guys see it, let me know, but I didn't see it there. The game is $20, a little expensive. The good side is the game is great, plays really fun, there's no crashing, no slowdown. Everything is awesome. Besides the online. And like I said, the game came out in 2010 for PC. If you're getting in 2017 right now, almost 18, come on, at least on online multiplayer or something like that should be very welcome. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching Mr. Boricoso. Same. Bye-bye.